This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. WKBS, Burlington, Philadelphia. I'm at Armando's. I got a meeting here in about 10 minutes. So knowing Raven make that 20 minutes. You're meeting Raven? That's a surprise. Surprised me, too. She tracked me down at April's, asked me to meet her here for a drink. Under the circumstances, I think I'd rather have a drink with Lucretia Borgia. Safer, too. It is kind of unusual, Logan, just three days before the opening of the trial. That's what she says she wants to talk to me about. That or the lack thereof. I couldn't pass up a chance to hear about that. Are you saying she's offering to throw in the towel? I don't believe that for a minute, Mike. I think it's just a new game with all the rules in her favor, of course, but... I thought I'd give it a try. There may be a chance we can settle this out of court. Yes, I agree, but Raven must understand by now the only way to avoid a trial is by her surrendering all her rights to Jamie. I made that very clear. Well, I don't have to warn you to be careful. Oh, no, you don't. Well, I just called to apologize for the change in plans and let you know what I was up to. That's perfectly all right. Just uh, let me know what happens. Will do. Bye -bye. Come on. Raven wants to uh, see Logan? Yes. I just hope Logan is capable of a good defense. Hello. So how do I look? Presentable to my husband? Ravishing, as always. But I thought Logan was impervious to your charms. He's a man, isn't he? You're all alike. Don't get carried away. <laughs> I raise no objections to your meeting your husband, only because it's in a good cause. Don't worry, it's all business. I have to convince Mother not to change her mind and to leave the will alone. And if I have to use Logan or anybody else to do that, I'll... Do what? Anything? Raven. Before you do a dance of the seven veils in front of Logan, let me remind you who calls the tune around here. of Night is brought to you by Mild Ivory Liquid. It helps hands stay young looking. And by Era, the detergent that cleans your whole wash all by itself. Hurry, hon. You're late for night school. Are you sure you can handle this whole mess? Ah, your new husband's a pro at laundry. Yeah, well, you'll need a lot to get this clean. Well, just some Era. Ha! Some pro you are. Now, you need powder, spray for grease, and liquid for collars. Era has ingredients like these. Cleans your whole wash all by itself. You mean Era cleans more than my powder? Even something like axle grease? I'm telling you. Husbands, do it my way. You used to trust me. Bye. Wives, Era's all I need. He's right. Even on dirt this tough, when we test Era against powder, Era cleans better all by itself. Hi, hon. Great job. Pants, collars, really clean. See, you did need all my things. All I used was Era. Come on, what about that grease? It's clean. Eric cleaned all this? All by itself. I guess you found a new detergent. I guess you found a new job. Era cleans it. Meow, meow, meow. All by itself. Don't, Elliot! You're bruising my arm. That's not nearly the extent of the damage I can inflict, Raven. If you think this is a good time to go back and you promise to... My promise? You mean your blackmail? If you think I'm gonna sit down while you try and seduce your own husband... Well, why shouldn't I? What are you going to threaten me with, the letter? You'd be very embarrassed if that letter showed up in court. Hey, wait a minute. I think you forgot something. What if there is no custody trial? What if I don't want Jamie? Then your whole blackmail scheme just goes right up in smoke. You'll find a way to change your mother's mind. Well, if I don't, Jamie's worth nothing. Your letter's worth nothing, and the blackmail is worth nothing. There's more than blackmail between us, Raven. I have to go see Logan. Don't sleep with him. Elliot, we're just having drinks. So 
Besides, you already have company. Be careful, darling. He's in a bad mood. I could come back later if you like. No, Jody, it's okay. Come on in. I didn't expect to see you here this evening. Yeah, well, I thought I'd come back to work tonight. Feeling better, huh? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. And I want to start doing something useful again. Except this is not what you really want to do, is it? Do you want to become a dancer? True. But that's going to take time. I have so much to learn. Of course. But you have one thing in your favor. You have that lovely, agile young body. Oh, thank you. Now the trick is to make it dance the way I want to. I'm sure you can make it do anything you want. How old are you? I tell you, you're 18. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. I realize I didn't ask you for any identification when you started to work here. Oh, well... I, I'm not questioning it. It's just that you have to be 18 or over to serve liquor in this state. I know. I am 18. It's just that my mother was really lousy at keeping birth records and things like that. Oh, she was very good at producing a beautiful child. You know, I, I really like this job, Mr. Dorn, and I'm very healthy. I am. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. You're very healthy and you're very appealing. I think I better go put my uniform on now. Jody, no big hurry. There are only a few customers out there and Kimberly can take care of them. Have you had supper? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, why don't you ask Rinaldo to fix you something? I may join you in a while. Yeah, I will. Hey, Jody. Oh, hi, Kelly. I didn't know you were coming in tonight. Are you starting again? Yeah, I am. Oh, well, uh, what's the matter? You look like you're upset about something. Oh, it's nothing. I just talked to Mr. Dorn and... And what? Oh, it's nothing, Kelly, really. He's not giving you a hard time again, is he? Listen, he promised that you could start back here working as soon as you got your strength back. No, he's not objecting. It's just acting sort of funny. What are you talking about? Well, I think it has something to do with that, that woman with the dark hair who comes in here. Oh, yeah, Raven Swift. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard all about her. She's married to the DA, but she's separated now. Well, she just came breezing by here about five minutes ago. Still smell her perfume? Kelly, I think I'm going to go out for a little while. Hey, yeah. look, why don't you have something to eat here? It's one of the benefits that comes with the job. Yeah, I know. I'd rather not. I'm not hungry. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe you just don't want to eat with me, right? Don't worry. I've already eaten. I'll be, I'll be back in that hour. Okay. What? Where are you going? Oh, I get it. You got to drop in down at the old dance palace, right? Kelly, the truth is, Mr. Dorn asked me to have stuff with him, and I'd rather not. Do you understand? He, he did what? Since when did Mr. Dorn start having dinner with the waitresses? Look, I don't want to talk about that. Where's your name, McGrath? Talking to yourself again? Uh, no, Mr. Dorn, I, I was just rehearsing. Uh, where's Jody in the kitchen? Uh, no, uh, she just left. She left? I thought she was going to have supper. Well, I asked her the same thing, but, uh, she said she wasn't hungry. Let's see. Now, uh, don't worry about it, though. Uh, she'll be back in about an hour. Thanks for nothing. I don't like that man. Yeah, Big Red. I don't either. Come on, Arlene, you're sluggish. Fulfill those moves. If you don't know the steps, go home and learn them. Come on, girls, you do better. Stay together.
Spring water. Natural spring water. And this is the only tuna packed in natural spring water. Star Kissed. It has half the calories of tuna packed in oil. Half the calories. And if you're watching your waist, Star Kissed in natural spring water could make a measurable difference. Star Kissed. The only tuna in natural spring water. Great taste. Great for your waist. Uh, tell him Charlie sent you. Nestle Crunch is so good, it's music to your mouth. Creamy milk chocolate is the melody. Crispy crunchies are the harmony. The two together are music to much. Let's home a few bars of Nestle Crunch. so glad to see me before. Sure I'm glad. Take five minutes, girls. You're my star pupil now, remember? Yeah, well, I'm afraid I can't be too much of a pupil tonight. I have to be back to work in one hour. Well, you can do some limbering up exercises. I'm sure you probably need plenty of working out after all that inactivity at your sister's place. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'd like to do some exercises. Just don't ask me to dance, okay? I think I'm going to save my strength for the unicorn. Oh, so you're back to slinging hash again, huh? Uh, no, they don't serve hash at the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> what they do serve are these tiny little hamburgers and these tiny little sandwiches and lots of alcohol. <laughs> Gavin, did you really mean what you said before about teaching me dance lessons for nothing? Sure, I meant it. And I can use the studio anytime I want to, free of charge? You can use the studio, but only under my direction. It's a package deal, Jody. You agree to one condition, you agree to them all. Yeah, but you haven't told me any of the conditions. I will. I was just waiting for you to get your strength back. I was waiting for you to get ready to uh, work in earnest. Because if you're not willing to give me everything that you've got, if you're not willing to really knock yourself out for me, it's not worth it. But you know that I want to be a professional. Damn it, I, I'm not talking about being professional. If that's all I thought you were capable of becoming is another good professional, I wouldn't be interested. Oh, well, then I don't know what you want me to say. That I'm going to become a star? Kevin, I'm not sure if that's possible. I want you to be sure. I want you to have faith in yourself. And maybe more important, you've got to have faith in me. I do have faith in you. No, you don't. How could you? You don't know the first thing about me. You don't know how good I am, how well I teach, what I've accomplished. You know, you've never given me a chance to find out any of those things. All I know is that you've been to New York and that you have a father in the construction business who hates what you're doing. <sighs> never mind that. The important thing that you have to know about me now is this. I want one thing out of this crummy world. I want to teach somebody to dance. Just one person. Somebody who's going to be so good that they will be a star that there'll be a feature performance, some really good show. And in the program notes, it'll say, Jody Travis, protege of the famous dance teacher, Gavin Wiley. How does that sound to you? Scary. I mean it, Gavin. I don't know how good I can get. What's your hurry? You've got plenty of time. You also got me. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's go back to work. Susan Lane and her daughter Carrie often fool people. Mom looks so young, people think we're sisters. Even her hands look young, similar to mine. Showing fabrics as I do, I want my hands to look good. So I take care of them. And I use a mild dishwashing liquid, too. She uses ivory liquid, and so do I. Because you're never too young to take care of your hands. It's never too soon for ivory liquid. Feel the softness of ivory liquid. It's mild, helps care for hands. It helps hands stay young looking. Even the suds feel soft. Yet nothing gets dishes cleaner than ivory liquid. It cleans really well, but mainly I love the mildness. And I want to keep my hands looking young, like Mom's. I think I've got a real good start with ivory liquid. Get mild ivory liquid, because young-looking hands are worth holding on to. Could you write a television commercial? Probably not. How about for a product you believe in? How about your time? I try, sure. Why? Because I believe in it. Doing a commercial is a new experience, so I got my family to help. Okay, kids, let's go. My son Jeff and nephew DJ are playing in white socks. 
to help show how my Tide cleans muddy soil better than a liquid detergent. There! Perfect ground in mud. Now my mother-in-law is going to supervise because I'm testing against her favorite liquid. I've sworn by this detergent for years. We'll wash DJ's socks in a liquid and Jeff's blue striped socks in Tide. My liquid didn't do too well. But look at the Tide socks. A lot cleaner. Guess you taught your mother-in-law a lesson this time. <laughs> I trust Tide. I really do. Women trust Tide. It's the best detergent on American soil. Maybe I'm dreaming. I'm not dreaming. Errol King needs Coast Deodorant Soap. The eye opener, a crisp, exhilarating scent, and handfuls of bubbly lather make you feel more than clean. Refreshing Coast, it actually brings you back to life. Do I feel good today? How are you getting to work today? Backstroke. Bring yourself back to life. Coast Deodorant Soap, the eye opener. If you're the parent of a child affected by the teacher strike, Channel 48 suggests that you call the Philadelphia Parents Union at 574-0337 and stay informed. For daytime activities that your children might enjoy, check your community Y, your recreation organization, or your local public library. The Philadelphia Parents Union at 574-0337 can give you up-to-date information while the strike continues. Call the Parents Union today at 574-0337. doesn't surprise me, Nancy. The effects of amnesia do vary. And it's not unusual for someone to have blank spots. Uh, yeah. True. Uh, it's not to say that he's forgotten the people who were important to him at the time. That Dr. Galt and his daughter, the young lady that Draper thought he was married to. That bothers you, doesn't it? The fact that he was living with that woman. Well, Mike, I can project myself into that sort of situation and um if you were the one living with another woman believing that that she was your loving spouse i know exactly how i would feel and how do you suppose draper feels i think he feels guilty that doesn't mean he's at fault because he was deceived the way he was i didn't mean that i was talking about the fact that April had a life of her own during his absence. Oh, you mean Logan. When Cliff first told us of the crush that Logan had on April, we didn't take it too seriously. Well, there wasn't any reason to take it seriously, because April was a widow, and Logan was going through a situation almost as sad. Nancy, Logan is in love with April. And who knows, the feeling may be reciprocated. I wouldn't be surprised if April felt the same way towards him. Now, how do you change your feelings overnight? You've already ordered a drink? Yeah, well, I was running out of sugar cubes and I was getting bored waiting for you. I bet you needed a drink. You must be in pretty low spirits. I'll feel a lot better once this meeting's over. I know why you're depressed, too. Draper came back and upset everything. Oh, how you must be feeling. You don't know how I'm feeling. You never have known how I was feeling and you never will. I don't think you're ever going to know how another human being feels. I'm as human as anybody else, and I know what your problem is. Draper had the bad taste to come back from the dead and ruin your little romance with April. I thought that's what this might be about, no, so I'll see you another it's not. time. It's not. I'm sorry, I just had to bring up the subject because I know how it influences your past, your present, your happiness, and your future. There's only one aspect of my future that I am willing to discuss with you this evening. Now, if you want to talk about that, fine. I if want you to don't... discuss it. It's very important for my future, too. All right. Well, what did you want to tell me about the trial? It starts in three days. It better be that's important. That's the point. It starts in three days. I need more time. You what? I need a longer time than three days. Now, I know you have some influence. Can't you get them to postpone the trial? Yes, I could. Why should I? 
because I don't know if I want a trial at all. I told you that on the phone. What is all this about? Logan, I am confused. I don't know that my having Jamie is the right thing, and I need some time to think about it. This is a stall, isn't it? What do you want to stall for? What do I have to gain by stalling? It's the truth. It's Mother. She's got me thinking a little differently about things, and... Well, I think Jamie might be better off with his father. I know that I might have turned out a lot better had my father lived and been around me, so... Don't you understand? No, I don't. Logan, will you postpone the trial? I need some time to work things out. Please? told me you were doing some babysitting for Raven Swift. Oh, that was just for the afternoon. When Mrs. Swift came home to change, she called a regular sitter, Mrs. Cross, and she came over. I came here to be with Emily. She hasn't spoken? Not one word since they put her in this place. Have you talked to Mr. and Mrs. Scott about making any new arrangements? That's exactly where I've been, making arrangements. Emily's going to be transferred to the Hathaway Pavilion tomorrow morning. She's got a much nicer room. More important, she'll get the best of care. Can they really help her, Doctor? Look. Molly, Molly don't no, say Molly. She's completely gone from us. She's not completely gone. With help and care and patience and love, we can bring her back. But to what, Doctor? What does Emily have to come back to? Tablets? No, Anison 3. Its pain reliever gives the most effective headache relief you can buy without aspirin. Right. Two regular headache tablets have 650 milligrams of pain reliever. But Anison 3 has much more. 1,000 milligrams per dose. Yet it's 100% aspirin free. So when you've got a headache... Take three. Anison 3. The most effective headache relief you can buy without aspirin. Who put macaroni in my chili? Who put chili in my macaroni? Who? Chef Boyardee. It's Chili Mac, a delicious taste combination of firm, tasty macaroni and flavorful, juicy beef chili. Wow, chili and macaroni. These two together are delicious. Two great tastes together in one delicious hot meal with meat. Linda Carter stars as a legendary Amazon princess in Wonder Woman tonight at 6 o'clock. Then later, Margaret O'Brien, Agnes Moorhead, and Edward G. Robinson star in the moving story of a small Norwegian-American town in Wisconsin. In Our Vines Have Tender Grapes, tonight's movie at 8 o'clock on Channel 48. Molly, you know that I am not a psychiatrist, but it's... It's pretty obvious that Emily has escaped from a world that she did not find to be too pleasant. But I don't think her condition is permanent. I don't think it'll last. Anyone tell you that? No, no, I haven't had a clinical diagnosis, but I do know there will be some very fine, very understanding psychiatrists, and they will be able to help her. But how can they, doctor? Look at her. She couldn't even answer any of their questions. She couldn't lie on a couch and tell them all about her childhood. Well, there are other approaches to therapy. Days, Molly. Just trust in the fact that she will be helped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really very grateful, Dr. Kavanaugh, and I know Emily would be if she knew how much was being done for her. Maybe she does. Maybe she just can't respond. Is that possible? Possible that someone like this could understand what's being said to them? Yes, I think it's possible. We just don't know for sure. I see. Well, I'll be trying to look in on her as often as I can when she gets to Hathaway. I assume we'll bump into each other there. Oh, yes, I'll, I'll be there as, as often as I can. Goodbye, Molly. Goodbye, Dr. Gavinon. Thanks. Well, thanks are due to April and Draper, you know that. Yes, I do know. 
Can you hear me, Emily? Is there something in your mind that understands? Oh, oh, oh I hope there is, because if you do, something important to tell you. Very important. I was home last night, Emily, when Kurt, not me, Draper, came home to his wife. They were strangers to each other. I mean, I know we sort of are in a way, and they're should be some kind of awkwardness between them. But there was something more, <laughs> much more. I think it's not going to last, this marriage of theirs. It died when he died, and you cannot bring back the dead. We both know that. The marriage isn't going to work, Emily. Don't you see what that means? To you. To your future. <laughs> Lisa, look. Your new brother's waving at you. He wants you to help me give him his back. You can bring me the Q-tip swabs, OK? Okay. He likes Q-tips because they're so soft. See? <laughs> Q-tips, the original soft swab. Just look at that soft cushion of cotton. Mommy, am I still your baby? Oh, Lisa, you're my baby girl. <laughs> Q-tip swabs, the softest thing in the world next to your baby. Pillsbury bakes better tasting brownies than my Duncan Hines? And its flavor packet? Than my Betty Crocker with its can of flavoring? Sure, let's see. Pillsbury Deluxe Fudge Brownies. No packets or cans. Pillsbury blends three rich cocos right into the mix. They're better tasting fudge brownies. Pillsbury tastes richer than mine. So chocolatey and moister than mine. Taste Deluxe Fudge Brownies. You'll agree. 